they have chosen pink as the outfit of the day today. You would think she would have a pink leash then so that they could be, oh, she's got a little pink doggy baggy thingy. So I guess they're somewhat matching. What? I said Piper doesn't have anything pink, but then I noticed their little garbage baggy thing is pink. Oh, yeah. Piper, sit. Hey, sit. Because I'm not ready Why? to sit. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Muggy. You don't match. Well, I get, no. <laughs> that matches. Those shoes are off the... I know, but they're my new shoes. I got to wear new shoes because my feet are just starting to hurt again. So I got to get my shoes in, so that's what I got. But my hat matches my shirt. I'm not matchy-matchy like okay. Denise. Well, I feel like crap today. I was going to say a different word. <laughs> yes, we have to watch our language. But uh, neither, one still one to, my neither one of us wanted to walk. And I have to work today, of course, because I don't feel good. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, I hear something. It's someone running. There was an excessive amount of cars today, I thought. Yes. Mm -hmm. So ba Bailey, or Bailey, we were talking about her other dog, Bailey. That's why she's on my mind. Um, oh, here comes, oh, here comes a car. Piper, no barking. No barking. All right, maybe. I'm already sitting, so all right. All right, whatever. I would see that car, I always think of you. Yours is similar to similar, that. Yeah. But anyway, let me show you Piper. Piper. There's Piper. She's on that lake and... My brother, uh, Cat, because he got shaved looking like a lion now. But she, it's so has, cute. He has so much mat. I'll send, Sandy, I sent you a picture. You can put it in. <laughs> I think he's really cute with his um, lion cut, and I think he likes it because <laughs> you know normally when a, an animal gets groomed, if they don't like it, they hide for a little bit. Yeah. Well, he only had to hide because Maddie, oh my goodness, she went after him with all fangs out because she thought it was a different cat. <laughs> yeah. But she's to, this morning. He's like walking around like, go ahead, hiss at me all you want. Denise doesn't know exactly how old he is because she got him when he was about when he was a cat it was a cat when he came and that was 11 years ago so he's 12 13 14 i don't know but he's not able to take care of himself as well yeah the matting at this because he's a long hair cat yeah and and it's that thicker fur see matty's fur is different there is different furs for long hair cats and his is like got that under Carriage. tone or something <laughs> i don't know and as try as we might we would just be hurting him every time we try to get a knot out so he came to this and that was not cheap how much do you think? What's your guess? Sandy will tell you after, so you won't get, be able to know right now, but she'll put it I'll at the end. At the end of the clothes. video. Oh, my exercise ring closed, and I'm just standing here. There that just shows go. you how you can't really trust it. Yeah. Very, 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 very... Muggy. Yes. <laughs> but not hot. Not yet. No, not but yet, muggy. but it'll get there. Maybe this afternoon, if you're feeling better, we can go in the pool. That's it. Well, I won't be home until after four. Oh. We'll, go at, yeah. well, no, I won't be. Well, maybe tonight. Okay. Because I got to bring Alyssa to the orthodontist. Okay, after dinner then. After dinner. All right. All right. The hat, the hat, the cat haircut cost $160. <laughs> you know me. I don't even like paying 15 for mine, let alone 160 for the cat. Well, good morning. Today is <clears throat> Thursday, July 27th. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, right? 27. Yep, I had to think about I had to think on that for a minute. Um, Denise didn't think I matched. I think my hat kind of goes with my shirt, goes with my watch. Although my shoes are... Let me show you my shoes. Can you see my shoes? Yeah. With the big old fat leg. Um, but I, I've noticed that my feet are just starting to hurt a little bit. So I do wear my shoes all day long which I don't like, but I do wear them all day long. And, uh, but these are my newer shoes. So I need to, uh, I think the other ones, the arches are kind of gone on them. But you don't need to hear about all of that stuff. We have birthdays today. Today is Star Norris's birthday. And Star was one of the first five people to subscribe to my sister Denise's channel. Actually, I think she was, I think she was the very first one, to be honest with you. I think she was the very first subscriber. <clears throat> I'm almost positive she was the very first subscriber. But anyway, Denise left. I took over. Denise is somewhat back. <clears throat> I know. It's it's very it's very muggy. It's very humid. So my I'm like a like I, I got like a frog in my throat. But um, 
Let me, I want to, I'll be right back. I'm back. You didn't, that didn't do any, it didn't do any good, but I thought maybe if I cleared my throat and all that. But anyway, today is Star Norris's birthday. So Star, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Star. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. And it's also, I'm almost positive I know the name, but I wrote it down just to make sure. It is Jordan Russell's birthday, and he is Tracy Russell's son. So Jordan Russell, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jordan. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope both you and Star have a great birthday today. Um, that's all, and I don't have any anniversaries, but Sparkling Susan is, um, her husband Dan is having some major dental surgery tomorrow. He doesn't seem that nervous about it, but Susan is nervous about it. So if you could say some prayers for Susan, <laughs> that she'll stop being so nervous, and also for Dan, that he has a successful uh, dental surgery. Um, I guess it's major. So if you could keep both of them in your prayers, I'm sure they would appreciate it as much as I would. So uh, I didn't bring my stand out, so you got my shaky hand. Sorry about that. Uh, we went for our walk. It's not that, temperature-wise, it's not that bad. It's 72. But there's 94% humidity, and the heat index is at 69, which I told you yesterday, 70 is unbearable. So it's very wet the air and and our air quality we have an air quality alert too from the fires up in canada so throw that all in the same big, big you know, mixing bowl and mix it all together and it's makes it a little difficult to walk but i did walk my whole mile denise walked a mile and a half she's not feeling well so um she doesn't know what it is she just you know like i've, I've noticed so many people then saying that their stomach has been bothering them my stomach was, was bothering me last week a couple days too and i just thought it was because of my poor eating which it probably was because of my poor eating but sometimes i wonder i really do th i am a believer in the test chemical test you know what is it you know like the test stuff to see if you're sick chemical is it chemical testing you know what I'm talking about. I know there's a word for it. You know where they take a certain area and then they make everybody sick, so use that as a weapon. Bi bionic, bio biological weapons. That's it. Biological weaponry. So I do think that. And I do believe, I'm one of these people that do believe that I do think that these people that are testifying in Congress um, did see UFOs. Um, I do believe that there's life on other planets. Well, I don't believe they're human life, but I do think that there's life of some sort on another planet. And we're going to the moon. Why do we think people can't come here? They get here, they see what's going on, they turn around and they leave. <laughs> Can you blame them? <laughs> so, anyway, um, but anyway, that's I do believe. I believe in that. I do believe in biological warfare, and I do believe in um, aliens or UFOs or life on other planets. I really do. So, I mean, God created this earth. This, you know, maybe He's got. A stepchild somewhere. <laughs> you know, other children. Maybe he's got another life, another family. I was watching, uh, I forget what the name of it was. It was about this guy that had three families. I mean, boy, oh boy, the, he had to really work to have three families. I forget, I watched that a couple months ago. I don't remember where I watched it at. And then he was finally found out. And it wasn't because he did anything murderous or anything. It was just... They just kind of got wise to them, but I'm thinking, and they all had pretty good life. They really did. They had a really good life. So, kind of like when I was watching Big Love way back in the day on HBO, when it was the Mormon family, and he had like the three houses, with the three families, and then he picked which house he was going to stay at it for the day. He had to, and the wives didn't work. Only one wife worked, but he had to support all of them and all them kids and everything. So somehow they, I don't know. Whether well, there's a will, there's a way. So that's what I'm thinking about my diet plan. Whether well, there's a will, there's a way. So, um, today, I haven't got much to do. I've already emptied the dishwasher. That's usually, Jim usually empties it. But for some reason, he didn't empty it today. So, I emptied the dishwasher. We have our share of jobs that we do. We divide the, since he's somewhat retired, he did go back to work part-time. But in the summer, he works full-time. Which you would think most people would take the summer and work part-time or not work at all. But Jim likes to work full-time in the summer because it's, it's just 6 to 2.30. And then uh, he's got the rest of the day 
Jim likes to get up early, so that doesn't bother him. And then like in the winter and the fall, he just works part-time, maybe two or three days a week. Mostly just two days a week. But he likes to stack up all the money in the summer because then he does all his hunting in the winter and he has all of his extra money for that. So why did I talk about that? Hmm. Oh, so because we divided up the jobs. So we kind of share the, share the wealth, as they say, in the house. But um, I had a rude awakening this morning. Oh my gosh, it was, it was so rude. <laughs> Jim got, I, once again, I'm drinking too much water because I was up like three, I get up every two hours to go to the bathroom. It's just enough to break up your sleep so you don't get that solid REM sleep, or REM, R-E-M, whatever, that you don't get that solid sleep. So I didn't, I didn't get the solid sleep, but I get up every two hours. So Jim left for work about 20 to 6, and I thought, eh, I think I'll go to the bathroom. You know, I don't need to go, but it, it's going to wake me up anyhow, because he wakes me up every, when he leaves, he always wakes me up to give me a kiss goodbye and tell me he loves me. He's done that our whole married life. Um, so I thought, oh, get up, go to the bathroom. So I got up, got in the bathroom, got in the bed, and then boom, came crashing to the floor. It's like, oh my gosh, I, oh, the bed frame obviously broke and I'm thinking Jim weighs more than me why did my side break but my side of the bed is the side that like when you're sitting on the bed put your shoes on or you're you know like whatever my side of the bed gets used a lot more than Jim's side of the bed we'll just leave it at that and um so I'm thinking oh so I was just laying there sideways <laughs> rolling off the bed i have a king size bed which is high i mean you gotta <clears throat> you gotta climb into the bed it's really high so um i don't know how many inches it is off the floor well it's only some few inches off the floor now it's just laying on the floor but um <clears throat> it's and then i got to thinking well you know so i thought well maybe i can fix it myself i was like got the my light turn my light on get my glasses on and looked and <clears throat> we have a a, f a wooden frame we don't have like a metal frame we have a wooden frame where the wooden slats go into the headboard and the footboard and we've had this bed we've, now we've changed the mattress three times i think yeah we usually change our mattress every 10 years so we've changed it twice since we've been here no have we? once since we've been here and then twice at the other house three four so this is like our fifth set of mattresses but the same frame and we've had this, we bought this, this bedroom set in 1981. And so it's been taken apart and moved and taken apart and moved and then taken apart and moved and uh, taken apart and rearranged. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's done its duty. It's, it's hold, held over 500 pounds <laughs> for a long time. So it just said, it said this morning, oh, no more, no more, we're done. So when Jim gets home from work, I was hoping to go get another bed frame, but I just remembered I got to bring Alyssa to her orthodontist appointment about the same time Jim's getting home is when we're going to be leaving. So when I get home, and then I told Denise we were going to swim tonight, but then I'll be going to look for a bed frame. Excuse me, looking for a bed frame. We might just end up putting the back spring and the mattress on the floor, and then it'll be like a normal size climbing into bed <laughs> type of thing. We'll see, so. All right. That's gonna do it for now. I'll take you with me on my day, share my food, all that good stuff. So I'll just talk to you soon. Okay, I'm gonna have some watermelon and some water. I'm gonna start my book, The Black Echo. I wanted to show you my Fridge Smart container here by Rubbermaid, Fridge Smart container. What I do, I don't know if you can be able, if you'll be able to see it. On the bottom, can't really tell because it's kind of condensed. Anyway, on the bottom I put these little, let me get you a different container and I'll show you what I do. Okay, what I do is first of all I put a napkin on the bottom of the container here and then these little pizza, little tray things that they have, I put those on here like that and then I put the little tray on top of that I should have put four. I put four in this one. I forgot. This, yeah, duh. I got four little little pizza stands here. And then you put the little tray on top. 
You put the watermelon on top <clears throat> as it's condensing down, or like the water's coming out of it, it goes underneath and so it doesn't stay into the watermelon so the watermelon doesn't get overly ripe. And then I put a little uh, napkin on top just to absorb all the extra fluid. And it seems to last because I cut this watermelon five days ago and it's still fresh. Okay, we're gonna have a 10 point breakfast, four points for the cheese, two point, three points for the bread, three points for the peanut butter, zero for the eggs, the, bear, and the berries, and the tea, 10 points. Okay, just dropped Alyssa off. I've had a very eventful day today. But my theme for today is, you know, you don't have to eat less, you just have to eat healthier. And you have to listen to your body cues as far as when you eat. Um, I know there are some people that don't believe in stress eating. They just think that stress causes eating. To me, that's stress eating. But, you know, that's everybody's entitled to their own opinion of that. But I tend to find that if things don't go my way, the food makes me feel good for a hot minute. And then after I have the food, I'm thinking, oh, did I really want that? Did it really make any difference? And while I'm eating it, it does. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said it didn't, because it did. It kind of solved any kind of, uh, uh, what do you call it, need that I had at that point. But anyway, I um, I told you about my bed. I told you about my bed and falling, breaking, whatever. And so then I went to... Uh, cash my rewards for something and then it wouldn't let me get into it. It said my password had been changed and so then when I tried to change my password it wouldn't let me change my password and then I found out that my account had been hacked so I had to call to make sure, you can come first, um, to make sure that um, nobody used using my card so I wanted to cancel the card and get a new card and then I had to deal with the automated system but I was texting with Joan over at Joan's Point of Plague back and forth. That kind of kept me company while I did it. So I was uh, at least a half an hour, 45 minutes, just talking to automated people. And so then I got that all fixed. Got a new card sent. Found out that nobody had been making any purchases on my card yet. Or maybe they hadn't gone through or whatever. So I canceled that card and got a new card. And so then I was trying to see how much I still owed on my phone for Verizon. And I went into Verizon, and a couple days ago, I don't know if you remember, a couple weeks, a couple months ago, somebody had hacked my Verizon account, and so then I put a double author, uh, author, 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 authorization. I couldn't think of that word. I put so that I had to have two authentications. That's the uh, that's the other word I was trying to think of. So they always have to send me a number that I can put in, and so it's a double double thing just to make sure. And uh, I got something the other day that said someone's trying to change your uh, email. And um, it, uh, I just kind of ignored it because I thought, well, they can't do it because I got to have a double, double verification of it. So then uh, when I was trying to get the phone, it would ask me for my password, which I would put in. And then it would ask me, it would send me a code, and I'd put the code in. And then it would say, put your password in. So I put my password in, and then it would tell me, put the code in, and they'd give me another code. And this kept going like a, I was on a loop with this. I, I did it like four or five times. So finally, I just called Verizon. Got a really nice guy. And uh, he was working with me. And he, and then when he would tell me, he would give me a number to use from Verizon. And I would use it, and it would do it. It was like... So we had to completely uninstall the app, reinstall the app, then we had to go online and all that. So we got that all fixed. So we got all of that all done. So I spent like an hour and a half doing that. Getting frustrated just dealing with customer service and automated systems and the whole bit. But I never, never, never thought about having some food to make me feel better. I was really proud of myself. I was really, really proud. So I'm thinking, yeah, you're on a roll, Sandy. What else? What else? Well, so I was talking with Joan. Our power went out. And then it came back on. And then it went out. And then it came back on. And then it went out. And then the generator came on. So I was texting Joan. I said, oh, Jim's going to be so disappointed. He's at work. And the generator is now fully on. So I called Jim at work, and he was laughing when he answered the phone. He says, yeah, I was just telling Maurice here that that's going to be Sandra, and she's going to be saying about the generator being on because we're 
he's at the gener his uh, power has gone out too. And I said, yeah, it keeps going out. So then I waited until the generator kicked off and it was back on regular power. Went around, reset all my clocks, rebooted my TV. And then sure enough, we lost power again. <laughs> so, I thought, oh. so the generator came on and we fixed, waited, fixed that, rebooted everything again. And then the power went off again. I had heard on the news this morning that there's some kind of thing with the grid for the middle Midwest, for Wisconsin, Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, and Ohio, that they're going to be working on the grid because they, I don't know, maybe because of the weather, I don't know, there's something, that there, there, there might be some power outage experiences. Sure enough, we did. So I would say between noon and 2 o'clock, I lost power at least at least eight times if not more and then each time it bothered me because even though i have a generator i worry about the power surges because that's not good for your appliances you don't have all that power surges and my nephew that was just over fixing something for me the other day had said that i need to get a power surge protector on my circuit breaker box which she said runs between 500 and a thousand dollars We bought in 1981, and we've been using that same bed frame. So, I mean, it's it's put in its time. It really has. And back then is when you bought your furniture. It was made out of wood, not plywood like it is now, or particle boards or whatever they're made of now. It was actual wood. So, and like I said, it's been taken apart and put up and all that a lot of times. But then on for Alyssa's day, is Alyssa applied for two different places for uh, work to get a job. And the one was for Kentucky Fried Chicken. I know they call it KFC now, but I know, Jim, that was Jim, one of Jim's first jobs that he worked at Kentucky Fried Chicken. But anyway, um, so she went to go for her interview, and they didn't even interview her because it was for a full-time position. And she said that they never asked that question on the thing because since she's still in school, although the question asked, are you 16 or older? Well, if you're 16, you're still in school, as far as I know. So anyway, so she didn't get that job. So then she went over to Little Caesars, no power, so they weren't taking interviews. And then she went to this other restaurant where she was gonna get a job as a bus girl, no power, just couldn't have an interview. So then we went to go bring her for her orthodontist appointment. And I knew that there was gonna be construction on 23 Mile Road, which is by me, that, uh, so we left early. We left, it should only, on a normal day, it should only take about 15, 20 minutes tops to get to her orthodontist appointment. We left 45 minutes early because I knew that there'd be construction. And uh, I didn't realize that they had already stopped, started construction over by me on my, by the expressway. And so um, it's, it's busy all the time, no matter what. And they had it going from two lanes down to one lane. And so we sat in front of uh, this one building for like, 10 minutes and so I said Alyssa I think we're gonna have to go the long way to your appointment and then I looked at the clock and I thought by the time we take the long way around it's gonna we won't, won't make, make we won't make it in time so I called her mom and because her mom had a doctor's appointment at the same time she was in the doctor's office in the waiting room I said well you need to call and see if they want us to still come in but we'll be late or do they want to have just reschedule it so they ended up rescheduling it so Alyssa, so she says, I got my makeup on and everything for today. I could have just stayed home because she's worried about her complexion. So she says, now I got to get all this scrubbed off. She says, I put all this makeup on for my interview and for my orthodontist appointment. I says, well, look at it this way. You just, this way you, you just know that you had a really pretty day. I said, not that you need makeup. And she's, oh, I need makeup, Grandma. I thought, no, you don't need makeup. And Jim's looking at me thinking, what are you talking to? Jim's doing really well on his diet. He's like a competition here with me. I'm telling you. So he's keeping me on my toes too. So anyway, we'll see what he's got to say. Let me wave to him. He's wondering, what are you doing? So I'll talk to you soon. Well, Jim's going to fix my flag because my flag keeps getting all a few skew up there. So he's figured out some kind of a way to fix it. We've tried like having to go up the other way. 
but then you can't reach it when it does get all furled like that with the wind. It's kind of windy in this area. Look at Jim like a young man climbing up those steps. He makes me nervous. The second rung is as far as I go. But Jim goes up even higher. Okay, show him what you did. I put in three grommets. Now it should turn freely. Because when he turns to spin it, so you show, when he spins it, then the flag shouldn't twirl like it did before. We will see what we will see, won't we, Jim? Exactly. So David, the carpenter, used to be. Still am, kind of. Kind of still. Yeah. He's gonna see if he can fix the bed so we don't have to buy a new frame. Most likely he can. I'm sure we can. Yeah. David will David will figure it out. Yep. Well, it seems like it might work. We'll okay, see. We get a we get another screw in there. No, that's just with one little screw. Yeah. And then we put the leg, attach the leg down to the bottom there. Then it won't go in no place. No. Well, what did you want? What they did first. Oh, you got to go back and show us how they. How strong that is. Oh. Well, first of all, he did the a bracket here. Well, no, that I was just showing you there. Oh. That was all right. That was okay. Yeah. What he did is he put a couple screws through the wood into the original bracket, and then we added this two by four leg just to be safe. Got three screws in that. So that looks pretty good. Once again, he didn't forget his carpentry skills. No, that's forever with Jim me. and I get on the bed completely differently. So Jim's going to show you how he gets on the bed each day. That's how he gets on the bed. Okay. I'm going to turn you around. You're going to show see how I get on the bed. Okay. I, I sit on the end and I swing over. My way is right. And then I get off the bed like that. Okay, we're just going to have a simple BLT. There's the tomato, there's the lettuce, and the bacon's over there somewhere. And some mayonnaise on it. So five points for the bread, one point for the miracle of the mayonnaise, two points for the mayonnaise, so that's seven, and three points for the bacon. So it's a 10 point dinner, but mine is going to be 12 because I'm going to have some pretzels with mine. Well, Jim is really sticking to his diet. He's doing really, really well. I asked, offered to share some of my pretzels. There weren't very many pretzels. I didn't even have a whole ounce. I think I had about a half an ounce of serving. I was willing to share them, and he said no. So he just had the bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. He had some venison, sausage, and a couple crackers for a snack when he got home from work. But he's fixed the flag. Him and David fixed the bed. He's a handyman. He's, he's good to have him around, I guess. So I'm just going to read my book here, the very first of the series, The Black Echo. It's an original drama. Obviously, this is not the character, the actor that plays him, but that's how they have him pictured on the thing. But Titus somebody is the, is the one that is the star. But anyway, I just started it. Uh, I'm, only on, I'm only on page 33. But Denise came over and Gary and Kylie and we were in the pool for about an hour. I'm going to finish my unsweetened iced tea that I had for dinner. Forgot my water in the house. So that means i got to get up and go get my water now. <laughs> and then uh, just going to sit out here and read. And it's nice and cool now. It's cooled off a lot. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.